the older I've got, the more important I feel like it is to be documenting your life and the things that are going on around you. Uh, but there's one small problem with it all, and that is you eventually run out of space and file storage just becomes an issue. And so in this video, I want to show you how years ago I started using this specific way to back up all of my photos and videos to the cloud, paying just one small fee up front and then having this capability for life and then knowing that my files are in the cloud forever. So let's walk through how to do it. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a Google Pixel 1. You can buy these off of eBay for like a hundred bucks. And the thing is, this is completely legal and okay with Google. Uh, I made sure of that before I made this video. But essentially, you have the access to this plan, which Google released years ago, where with the purchase of the device, you have unlimited photo and video storage for life. And you don't have to capture the image on the device. You just have to have uploaded the photo from that device. So I know what you're thinking. You're like, how do I get the photos onto the phone? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. So essentially what you do is upload these images to the Google Pixel, and then the Google Pixel backs it up to Google Photos, and then it's uncompressed for life. It's, it's stored for life. It's pretty cool. It's really cold out here, so I'm gonna go inside and show you the rest of how to do this. All right, now we're inside, and I'm gonna show you what you, what you need to do now. So on your computer, whether it be Mac or PC, you're gonna to wanna to go to this website. You're gonna to go to filezillapro.com, and you're gonna to go to scroll down and hit FileZilla Pro. This part, you don't have to do it, but this is the easiest way to get files onto your Pixel device. Alternatively, you could set up like WhatsApp or uh, a messaging program and send photos to yourself and download them and back them up that way. But this is what I found to be the easiest way. So FileZilla Pro, download the app, it's 13 bucks one time, get it on your computer, and then you're gonna install it and get it launched up. And this is what it looks like when it launches. All we're doing is creating an FTP server on our network, our home Wi-Fi internet setup, and that's gonna give us that little, that little driveway to drop files back and forth. So from your um, Android device, your Pixel specifically, hopefully you purchased one, acquired one, whatever, has to be Pixel 1 for this to work. Um, you have to have your Google account logged in, all that good stuff. Make sure Google Photos is downloaded because obviously that's the method we're using to upload all this stuff. Uh, and then I want you to go to your Google Play Store and look for this app. It's called Wi-Fi Pro FTP Server. Download that, I think it's like two bucks, whatever. Download that, install it, and then you're gonna be met with this screen right here. And it's basically got a start button. I'm gonna hit the start button. And now what it's gonna do is create an FTP uh, link that we can use to access through FileZilla from our computer. So write all those numbers down where it says Wi-Fi IP address, write down that number, and then underneath the server URL, go ahead and write down the Android user ID and password. The default is Android for both of those. And then also write down that four digit code at the end of the URL that it gives you. So mine's 2222, yours is probably 2221, uh, and that's basically your port number. So with that information, let's go back to the computer. And then we're launching FileZilla Pro, and we're gonna type in, in host, we're gonna type in that IP address that we were given. And I'm gonna blur mine out because I'm concerned over safety. And then I'm going to hit connect. And it's gonna pull up all of our folders on the Android device. And then we're gonna go down to the DCIM folder and we're gonna go to camera. And this is the folder that the files that we want 
to be backed up to the cloud, this is where we want to drop them. It's literally as easy as drag and dropping the thing onto here. So I just shot this little video in the backyard. I'm going to drop it into here. It is, the file name is, what is it? MV1 underscore 2153.mp4. Um, and it's uploading. And obviously JPEGs are faster um, than a video file, but I wanted to show you the video file so you get the, get the full scoop of this. So it's gonna upload the file. And then on our Google Photos, as long as it's logged in, once it hits the server, the file is going to be backed up through this little funnel we've made and it's going to go right up to the cloud and it's going to be there forever. So I'm going to watch this upload and I'm going to show you in Google photos. So you know that the file that I just dropped into this is now uploaded to Google photo, Google photos and where it looks in the whole thing. Let's go into Google photos. And there is the video that I shot in the backyard just a few minutes ago. And as you can see, I'm going to pause it so I don't get dizzy here. You can see on the side here, uh, shot today, January 10th, uploaded from Android device, backed up original quality. This item doesn't take up space in your account storage. So regardless, if you keep the free Google photos or the top tier or whatever, that specific file isn't going anywhere ever. So that's how simple it is to back up these photos and videos for life. I hope that Google continues to offer this. Could they cut it in the future? I don't know. I hope not. I pray to God not. But if you've liked this video, I hope you have a great day and let's just go out and make some memories and stay safe.